Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today is rather boring weather outside although it looks good on camera nice and green uh, it has actually been raining most of the day just quiet rain but um, today I had a little disc filler in my I Scotchy sand ecologic sand array thing so uh, I wanted to show you that. So let's go into the data center. Here it is, and as you can see, I have a red light on disk number two. It's disk number two because it starts with disk number zero, zero, one, two, and it has a red light. So I want to do something about that, but I was gonna go into the computer and see why that was red. So uh, I want to show you on the computer my troubles there. So, on to the computer. Okay, and on my computer I have put in the IP number for my Dell Ecologic iSCSI array. And it should be that IP number up there, but I keep getting an error. Like this one. It's an, it's an error from Java. And I've had this one before, so I'm pretty sure that I know how to fix this. Um, but I tried, I really... I, I've shown this in another video. Details, blah blah blah, I'm not gonna use that. I really wanted to just shut it off for all the... All the IP numbers, all the local IP numbers. But um, I found out that it was in Java security and I had to put in the list of uh, good Java addresses. I've already put in this one. I'll just zoom in there so you can see what's happening. Rich. I don't have a screen capturing system and I don't want to use the time to set it up. Um, so I'll try and add one more. That should be, oh, I'm missing the two lines there. Yada, 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 continue. And okay. And maybe it works now. Oh, I have to zoom out again. But it works, so it's the same mistake. Uh, I have updated Java on this computer. It's not the same computer as that was too far. The other, I have the laptop out here that I was using for another video, the Oops video, <laughs> the disaster movie. Um, so I'm gonna log in here. locking in and it tells me down here that there's something critical with the system actually if I just hold it over there there's a heat status warning oh. health status sorry okay oh it I've been telling you lies this array is running rate 50 hmm. And here we have disk error. Disk status, it has failed. Disk type, unavailable. Model, unknown, problem. So it looks like it's just a disk that has failed. If you saw the other video, I told you that I have some tr problems with the interface as well. I haven't looked at that. It's not bothering me really, so um, I was in looking at the interface here and it seems that I have a lot of packet errors down here, so it's some kind of a network 
stupid thing. I've probably done something stupid, so I'll I'll have a look at that later on. So, but the discs number two, and it has actually used uh, it has actually used the disc we put in the last time. Oh, I forget what that was. I think it was number 12. It has used that hot spare and put that into the array. So, and that seems to have worked. It's not... S Let's see when it failed. I think we might be able to see that. Let's see down here. It's telling me what has happened, but it's not putting on dates, times. That would have been nice to see when this happened. Okay, but I'm gonna exchange and put in another disc. Actually, I have here on the table, I have, have the disc that I exchanged the last time. And right now I'm, I'm playing around with it. It's outside of the array. It's not totally dead. It's... Uh, I've connected it to this window machine, Windows 7 machine, and I'm, right now I'm formatting the disk. It's down here. It's 44% formatted right now. I, I choose a, the slow format to have Windows check the disk uh, for errors and stuff like that. So it might be that this disk is not good for the array any longer, but it might, I might be able to use it for something else. So back in the data center, and I just I unplugged the disk from the from this array at the bottom. It's kind of right now. It's like a spare part array, so it has spare disks. So I'm gonna unplug the bad one and plug in this maybe good one. I won't know until the array looks at it. And tells me if it's good or bad. Uh, I'm gonna take that one, uh, the bad disc, or it's up there, <laughs> like the weatherman here, <laughs> um, and put it in uh, to the computer and see what the computer says about it. It's probably the same mistake as the other one. Um, I have, I have had a lot of bad discs on this array. These, these discs, they're getting, they're getting old. They're they are dying from an end. Uh, I can't find the date on this thing. Well, I think it's six or seven years old, so it's at the end of its lifespan. There we are, and the red diode should go out, hopefully. Otherwise, we'll have to try again with another disc. Yeah, it's blinking, and it it just it just got green. See that? It's up there, blinking green now, and. Now the array has accepted it and it's starting to, well, it's blinking all over, that's usually okay. So let's go into the computer and see what happens. And I'm bringing a screwdriver. Here, computer. And I can already see that disk number two. Let's just remove this for a little while. Disk number two is a new hot spare. So apparently it wasn't that bad. So the, the array is down to one error. And 
now I'm gonna detach the hard disk from the from this casing and put it into my little tray. As fast as possible. This is not not really that interesting. And we're gonna remove this. I think it's kind of a warranty label. Warranty off. And we're gonna plug in the disc. I'm just gonna see if you can see this. We're gonna plug in the disc in this hot disc box. Yes. And we'll see what the computer's saying. It did find it, but it does sound kind of sick. Hmm, it kind of stopped formatting the other one. So, but how oh, interesting! Yes, rear tray is right protected. Rude. I'm just gonna make a new volume out of this. Whatever. Test. So I caught the other one. One. So and I'm not gonna perform a quick format. I'm gonna have Windows do this very slow. So. Now it's formatting. So here I have another hard drive. Uh, also a 750 gigabyte drive, 7200 RPMs. It's it's just like all the other ones. And I'm putting it in the box, preparing it for another failure. to find the screws. There we are. Gonna get rid of this one. No point to that anymore. And the other two drives back here. Oh, they are hot. They are formatting. Here at the computer, you can see one of them is at four percent, and one of them has just started. It takes a while, but let's go out into the data center and return this to the shelf. Here we are. I just got gone through all these. These drives are there are drives in this space. So that's all the hot spares I got. And these four ones they're empty. So I have four empty and the rest of them is full. So that was another video on a dead drive. Um, I'm not gonna film all of these because they're not that interesting, but it's really easy to, to maintain as long as you have the spare hard drives. It's plug and play every time. Um, hope you uh, got something out of this uh, video. Do subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if there's any questions, I'll try to answer them if you uh, write them in the columns below. 
So do subscribe and you'll see me again. Have a nice day.